Hello and welcome to another episode of Batcraft with me, Night Villain, your host. And today we're going to like peruse some stuff because um, I have gotten myself into another project. Uh, let me gear back up because it's never safe to go alone. And lately, everybody's been pretty busy, myself included. So I haven't been on a whole lot. As you can tell, I've missed an episode or two. But um, I have, I will, I will show the progression of this. But uh, I have completed the primary out, uh, like the shell. We'll just call it the shell. I've completed the shell of Valenco. We now have a bat signal. And we now have a GCPD. Uh, one thing at a time, I guess. Current project, Valenco. This is the home office for Valenco. Uh, everybody else, we got PFCo, we got Q Consolidated. Back there, we have the, the Gotham Gazette or something. I don't know. One of those things. New, our, our news agency over there. Um, this is Bell's. Bell's, Bell's corporate office right here. Nope. Yep. Uh, I think Bell needs to get to, get some time to actually work on it. Uh, but like I said, it's spring break. Everybody's getting busy. Um, my team here, uh, they're ready to go on vacation. They finished their primary job, which is the uh, shell of Valenco. So good job, team. Good job. Um, so if we go inside here, we got the Valenco logo up on the, the, I guess, ceiling. Though, I didn't realize it until after, after it was already completed. I came in here and I looked at it and I'm like, it looks wrong. Something's, something's off. If, like, look at that. Look at that. Something is off. If you can see what is off, make sure you comment down below. All right. So we're not going to give that one away. Uh, <laughs> uh, we do have ourselves a nice little water elevator. Uh, I do have to finish the elevator because some of the water is running water and some of it is not. Our first floor here, just as we had mentioned before, was going to be black box. We've gotten some of the cubicles and I've started working on the desks and stuff for everybody in here. Uh, we left room for a corner office up over here, so the management, uh, middle management, can have their nice little corner office. And we're going to leave this space open over here for the break room. So we, we do want to treat our employees right. So that'll be fun and interesting to actually get all going. I, I got a nice little start to it at least. Uh, I got to get my interior design team in here. Uh, they, they can definitely help out a lot um, if I can swim up this elevator and we got express expresses I do love I do love all of the neon lighting or not neon uh, fluorescent lighting in here uh, but express has got their cubicles all set up hello Rose I have a cat in my lap uh, cats always choose the worst or best times be in your lap and we got the uh, this company hasn't been formed yet uh, I been waiting to see if more space opens up in lower Gotham for this company this company is going to be the red hat or uh, not red hat uh, red cap the red cap company so they're I'm, I'm gonna be selling some redstone bits um, so that'll be interesting and you know, same scenario here. We'll have a uh, break room in the front and corner office in the back. Corner office is nice because you get this nice view of the mountainside. Um, and you know, you don't have big giant corporate buildings looking at, staring at your face. We'll have to figure out how that goes. Again, we gotta get the design team in here. Uh, the fourth floor has no space this is an available office space so uh, I do need once we have a mayor I need to put forth a proposition and if that proposition succeeds the space will get filled 
and if it uh, is if it fails uh, well I will have extra office space for new business in the future which is always nice maybe the incredible bulk the incredible bulk is a inside joke that we kind of have anytime somebody on the discords like hey I need a certain specific type of block uh, usually I'll hit them up in PMs or direct message or whatever and, and be like well how much of that do you need if you need more than x number of uh, uh stacks i might be able to fill it for a discount fill that order for a discount yeah right now i'm working on an order for fox for sea lanterns he wants 20 stacks and now uh, we're up at the executive level this floor will be for hr so the human resources we'll probably have four desks in here uh, for our HR staff because human resources is important you never want to run a company without human resources at least one person to help you out and this one will be the CFO uh, uh, um, floor so I have a semi-contracted snowpocalypse to come up here and set up and design the uh, CFO floor. Um, I'm going to see if we can negotiate uh, to make her Valenco's CFO. So this will be, not only will she get paid to uh, spruce this office up, uh, but she will uh, be able to make it her own in the future. So we'll see how that goes. And last but not least, my floor. This will be the CEO office. It's empty. It's empty. Again, I gotta get the design team in here. And once we get the design team in here and get things going, uh, I will have to get the landscaping team in here uh, to actually lay down the turf and get the all of the fun stuff. Probably a running track over here. We need we need some nice outside uh, things. Would be nice to have a little statue here, like not not a little statue, but a statue. Uh, maybe get some gargoyles on the building, something nice. I don't know. We'll we'll have to get the uh, exterior guys in here. But these guys, the the main construction workers, they're done. They did their thing, and I very much appreciate it. I have been noticing that Fox's black hole is collapsing. Ever since the mustache was put onto it by the mustache bandit, or mustachio bandit, uh, the black hole's been collapsing in on itself and it's forming what looks to be some kind of new type of neutron star or something. I have no idea. We'll, we'll, we'll have to dig into that later. What I do know about the PFCO building is that it is more than meets the eye. Um, it, I'm, I just noticed it's nighttime. It got night quick. It got my time quick. Um, so like each floor had various animals in it. They started disappearing. I don't know if that's part of Fox's little experiment. I do know that he was ill with some kind of disease. It, it was all very mysterious. I, I do know more information but I feel like I should probably journal that down and deliver that to the League of Heroes. Maybe, maybe not, maybe not. I, I, I'm still on the fence about whether or not the League of Heroes will be good for Gotham or make things worse. Because again, I don't know what we need heroes. For. I mean, that, that would have required hero attention, but I have not heard nor seen hide nor hair of a single hero investigating or poking into that. Just because I haven't heard it doesn't mean it hasn't happened. Anyway, so here we go. I'm going to pop up up here. So this is where I was. And yeah, um, we'll just fade out here and do that semi time lapse. Uh, I guess it's not really a time lapse, it's more of a slideshow. And 
with that out of the way, uh, speaking of projects, I do have this other project over here. Uh, I have taken it upon myself to help out and start building the mayoral office. So the mayor, the DA, and whatever other uh, officials the mayor decides to have help him uh, run the city. Speaking of mayoral things, uh, there is supposed to be a mayoral election going on. As far as I know, Kyle from Queen uh, Q Consolidated is running for mayor, uh, and we are totally in support. And by we, me and the Greener Gotham group. Here, I'm just going to let the clip play. Kyle, on behalf of the Greener Gotham group, we present you with this donation for your campaign if i can place it there we go ah thank you thank you very much God, am i opening this if you wish yes ah yes oh my god dollar dollar bills y'all uh we expect great things from you A little cringe, I know, but we do have, uh, we have helped Kyle, at least in some way. Hopefully, it is our hopes that he wins the election. Uh, because if he wins the election, um, oh, by the way, this book's blank. So, um, I'm assuming green is for Kyle, red is for Yip. And I have voted. I didn't get an I Voted sticker, though. All right. Well, so far, this project has taken me all of, like, 20, mi <laughs> 20 minutes. Um, I do need to actually work on this, uh, though this one's not as pri big a priority for me as Bailingo. It's just right now I'm still waiting, obviously, on the interior guys to get around. Um, yeah, and, and the... the it, it, it's all a, a farce it's it's a farce i'm the interior guy i just don't have any ideas beyond cubicles at the moment so yeah uh we we all know armor stands can't actually do things right but they're my employees so i still pay them <laughs> all right but yes uh with Kyle, uh, as mayor, I hope to get some legislation uh, up for a vote. Uh, one piece of legislation uh, I'd like to get going is uh, we do have a League of Heroes, but we have a League of Heroes with no real villains as far as I can tell. Um, now, that's not 100% true. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Uh, I have been doing my own investigations, so I do know there are some shenanigans afoot. Uh, but right now, I don't feel like we really need a League of Heroes because the way the laws and rules are set up, um, we don't have any villains. We really don't. No real villains, at least. We got Mustachial Bandit Man, who puts mustaches on things and eyes on all my stuff. Ugh. I've already complained about that enough. There's a yellow one in there. Anyway, um, uh, <laughs> all right. So one piece of legislation I'd like to see passed, uh, it'll or at least put up for a vote, um, is whether or not we should have uh, shop fronts uh, that are rateable. Uh, maybe a section of Gotham where you can have space. Uh, the, the, the law the laws are a little lax so so people can steal and kill and kidnap that sort of thing so so that maybe we do have villains I mean I'm not saying having villains is a good I'm not saying having villains is a good thing I'm just saying in order to spice life up a little bit maybe we should make it easier so that we do have villains just, just putting that out there. That then, then the League of Heroes will be justified, right? That that that, that logic works. 
Uh, what's wrong with me? Anyway, that's one piece of legislation. Is, is uh, you know having shops where things can be stolen or apartment buildings where VIPs can reside and be kidnapped from warehouses where mobs have duke it out or something. I I don't I don't know. I I I leave it to the the bat crafters to come up with these ideas. They're far better at shenanigans than I am. Um, if you couldn't tell. Earth. <laughs> All right. Uh, another piece of legislation I'd like to see is, um, you know, having things a little greener. Uh, I'm not saying it's, I mean, we got the Gotham Christmas tree up there. Uh, but as the head of the Greener Gotham group, I would like to see maybe a park or two. It would be nice to have a park. Like, I, I plan on having a running track over there and, and like, stuff. But, but, like, having an official city park would be amazing. I mean, we are eventually going to have uh, uh, Wayne Manor and Wayne Tower and Batcave and all of the things. We're eventually getting to that stage. But uh, right now, I'll oh, speak of the devil, Dr. Alien. Oh, oh. I thought you said this was only going to be up for a week. It's been longer than a week. I want my wing to be normal. I guess I could just fix it. Uh, but yeah, we haven't been up there. Um, so I guess I should talk about a few things that I'd like to investigate other than the League of Heroes. So like, as far as I know, the only member of the League of Heroes that I know for sure is Bo. And that's because Bo is, is often going on about the League of Heroes. So we're going to have to investigate them, figure out where they reside, maybe figure... Oh, has somebody been here? I came in here to do talk about investigations. Uh, okay, well that's weird. Anyway, totally irrelevant. So I'm just going down the list of things I want to uh, investigate. Obviously the League of Shadows, number one priority, because right now they are the, they're essentially the only villain. Uh, but I, no one knows who runs this. Um, from what I hear, my little birds tell me that people think I'm the bad guy. Why is it always me? Why am I always the bad guy? Purple sheep show up. That's from Fox Co or PF Co. And that monstrous machine Fox was running. I get the blame for the purple sheep. Uh, someone spots me coming out of here in in my um, gear and suddenly I'm the guy people uh, are chatting about uh, being the head of the League of Shadows and I'm like it's not me but no one believes me so we have to investigate we're gonna have to dig deeper and the only way we're gonna be able to do that is uh, like I mentioned last time we have to take a contract we have to take out okay so there's Bo we have to take Bo's because if I take on Bo's contract, if I successfully kill him, maybe then I can get more information from the inside. I'm sorry, Bo, but I'm taking your contract. You did put it out on yourself. So I don't feel terrible about this, even though I do feel terrible about taking a life uh, or another backgrounder's life. Um, now, this is also new. There are two new uh, names in here. I'm curious to who these are. Oh, well, I can take that one. I can, I can kill myself. No biggie. And Kyle. Oh, Kyle. Kyle. I can't kill Kyle. There is no way I can kill Kyle. And that wouldn't further my investigation anyway. But maybe I should. Maybe I should warn Kyle. Let him know. Well, I have to take these because if I succeed at getting Bo, I'm going to give Bo a fighting chance. I really am. I'm going to I'm going to make up some uh, crossbows, get some rockets made up, and I'm going to challenge him to a duel. If he wins, um, I will give up whatever information I have on the League of Shadows. Um, and try to help with any of his other investigations 
uh, I would do that if he asked anyway, but I figured this way, uh, yeah, you know, I, I maybe I can get some info out of him. Maybe. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, but if he loses, then he's none the wiser, and I might get, uh, get some trust. I might get some trust in the League of Shadows. I probably shouldn't be saying this while I'm standing in the League of Shadows. Who knows what recording device is. Uh, it's Minecraft. It's Minecraft. Anyway. Uh, and I'm staring at the ceiling. I want to investigate Dr. Alien, uh, obviously, for obvious reasons. Because uh, he, I, he, I wouldn't call him a villain, but he's definitely mischievous. And uh, he's been acting weird and different um, in comparison to the friendly, loving neighbor that I used to have who would lend me bone meal every now and then or string when I needed it. Um, and, you know, he'd come over and borrow a cup of tea or sugar or whatever he needed. Uh, but lately, I haven't seen him around, really, outside of putting mustaches on things. So, Dr. Alien, League of Heroes, which I, I hear whispers. I hear whispers. I have no idea if the whispers are true, so I have to investigate that. Um, trying to think. I know there was... Oh, the League of Assassins. Those are the three main things that I would like to investigate uh, and try to figure out what what's going on. And I ha now uh, I have to get my office done, I guess, and then I can actually go into those investigations. And it's not so much the League of Heroes; it's Bose Implant, and I, you know, because that that technology does seem like future tech, and it'd be if if it does what he says it does on the tin. It could be useful for reforming any future villains, um, because you never know when a Riddler or a Joker or a real Raza rule. Because I don't think that's the real. Oh, no, there's Doctor. Admiring your work. Yeah. Oh, maybe he's just here to vote. He's not admiring anything. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, I think I'm done rambling for the day. Bye! Before I really go, I need to go higher. And then I need to go lower. Yep, yep, that's about right. Yep, about right.